Which side of the ledger punters finish on following the running of the eight event card at Club Menegal on Saturday night may well be determined by the performances of Jason Grimson and also Cam Hart. The pair will combine in six of the eight events. I caught up with Cam to discuss their chances. Well, Cam, it's an intriguing card on Saturday night, made even more intriguing by your drives and, of course, trained by Jason. In the first about time, drawn out in seven, fit of a two run since a long spell. Yeah, he's a nice horse and I was super happy with his first up performance at Penrith and then he went to Young and had a bad barrier and it was, you know, stepping up in a mile and a half second up, so he wasn't far away there. Um, you know, I really like the horse and I think he'll go really well in this race. Yeah, he loomed up to his stable mate Sicaro, which you drove to victory and, as you said, just petered out due to lack of condition. Yeah, he had a long time off and he's a big horse, so I think just a mile and a half just got to him the last hundred there at Young, but I think stepping back to a mile third up, I think we're going to see his best. And no doubt the longer straight. Yeah, definitely. It'll definitely, um, you know, suit probably Menangle better than Young. It's quite a tight track and it can get a little bit hangy on those half mile tracks. So the big mile uh, here will be good. For the second, nicely drawn in gate four is Rainmaker. Yeah, he's got a nice little draw there. He'll probably just have to tuck away and he's um, probably up against it in that sort of field, but he's still not hopeless. Newcomer to uh, Jason Stable is Tegan Benner. Had his first start for Jason at Penrith and ran a nice third behind Uncle Jay. Yeah, he wasn't too bad at Penrith and I probably drove him a little upside down. There wasn't any tempo in the race, so I just had to go and sit up outside him. But I think he'd be best driven with a sit and, um, you know, hopefully he'll be able to do that in this race. He may have no option there with the outside gate. Yeah, that's right. We haven't been, you know, too fortunate with the barrier, but that might play into our hands. Hopefully they go hard and he's definitely a horse that's capable of finishing off. Yeah, I'm interested to get your thoughts in the fifth on Sugar Apple, once again a bad draw. Hasn't started since finishing ninth to leap to fame in the Queensland Derby July 2022. Yeah, he's a really nice horse. He's been a, you know, a really good horse since he was a two-year-old um, through to his three-year-old campaign. He probably was a little below his best when he campaigned in Queensland, but he's had a really good spell and he's, um, you know, he's come back really well. He's probably going to have to be driven a little soft, but he's got a really good turn of foot, so... Hopefully, um, you know, similar to a couple of others, he's got not the greatest barrier, but if they go hard, he'll be finishing. And Jason's elected to tackle his first up assignment without a trial? Yeah, I think he'll be forward enough, Jace thinks, so, um, you know, he get, can get him fit working here at Menangle, and, yeah, hopefully he should be not too far off. Now the newcomer to the stable is Joe and Jago's down in race six, a strong field, third to promised land last time out of Penrith. Yeah, I was super happy with her. She was probably spotting the leaders 50 metres at uh, Penrith when they had that hot tempo in that heat of the, the go girlfriend. So, yeah, I expect her to be really hard to beat on Saturday. I think she's going to improve from that run and she gave me a good feel. So, yeah, hopefully if she gets a good position, they'll know she's there. They certainly did go hard in that particular event. Yeah, they were running. Uh, I haven't seen a half put up like that at Penrith before. I think it was 54 or something. So, yeah, just... Um, you know, I come from Barrier 10, so I got a long way back there, but she made up a heap of ground the last lap and, and was really good through the line. So, yeah, I think she'll be really uh, up to this race. Open class event. Uh, Cam is strong. Fire Fox been placed in four of his past five. Second to catch away, which has done a few uh, good things since, including the Miracle Mile and also the last uh, third to Bundoran. Yeah, he's... Um I was super happy with his first up run back at Menangley campaign down in Melbourne and like you said he had some good form around some nice horses so he's stepping up in distance, he probably is a bit better miler but 2300 if he settles he's still going to uh, you know, be a good shot. And Jason will be represented by Tay Tay, this wonderful mare in the last event. Yeah, she's a super mare and she's come through the Queen Elizabeth series so you know she's probably stepping down in grade a little bit in this race and I expect her to be really hard to beat in that. I think she's the class mare and um, I think she'll show that. An attractive book of drives, Cam. What do you think of the best one or two? Yeah, I think probably Tay Tay. Um, I think she's the class mare. I think she's probably my best chance. And I really like Joe uh, jo and Joe as well. I think she'll be really hard to beat. Thanks for your thoughts, Cam. Thank you.